built a pulpit, a podium, a place in the masjid for Hassan, Yunshidu alayhi shi'r, where he chants poetry from. And in another hadith, the Prophet sallallahu says about that, that this message through poetry reaches faster than the arrow. And what that means is, again, the power of language. And today we live in a world where communication is everything. So. I definitely support and encourage any project that uses poetry, not just to send messages and bring things, make things easier to be understood, but also because poetry is a language of love. Poetry is a language of uh, the poets who look at things and see things differently. It's a language of beauty. It's a language that we can all uh, um, be connected to, and I think that it's very important that for the Muslim youth in the West, in general, to invest in writing poetry in their own languages, in their local languages, to write stories in their local languages, to use that power that the language gives and has so that you can convey your message. Speak your heart through poetry and through chanting. Chanting was prominent in the time of the Prophet including in his presence, in the masjid, yunshidu alayhi shar, that is verbatim what the hadith says, which means there was chanting poetry in the prophetic masjid of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So today we have a need for that infusion of spirituality through chanting, through poetry, and through uh, uh, using different ways that the language allows us to use to convey our message, our love to people, our love to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and our care and uh, 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 care and love and mercy to everything around us. So with that, uh, I'll stop here and I love you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.